Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? So, radiator's still in there. <laughs> Today, what I'm going to be doing, one second, pull some of this clutter out of here, get as much stuff that I, is completely unnecessary out of the way. I'm going to pull the radiator mount out, the radiator out, and then we are going to Pull apart. Well, I'll probably do this first, actually, just so it's done and out of the way. But I'm going to pull apart a SRT4 motor so that it is completely nothing but bare block, so it's light. I can throw an oil pan on it and check for clearances and mock up some motor mounts. That's uh, that's my goal today. I uh, think we should get it. No, no need doing. I want to do the intercooler, but. Honestly, it's super easy. You just blow a couple holes in there, mount the brackets, and run the piping. So that's not. A, I'll have to end up trimming the grill some too, but it's not. It's not that big a deal. But I gotta pull this out again, which, now that I made it, the way I did, it should be pretty simple. Um, I'll probably have to cut the exhaust out of the way, get rid of that EGR stuff, pull these AC lines out of here. Um, I'm gonna stick some bolts in the fuel line so that those stop leaking fuel everywhere. I'm gonna have to, this gas is over a year old, so I'm gonna have to drain the tank anyway. Um, get rid of the fuse box, cut off the leads for the lights and everything. And that should be that for the day. Hopefully, hopefully I get a block set in here and see how much room I really do have with just the block. Um, I'll have to do some measuring off the block to see which side. Either way, I'm probably going to bolt my bell housing to it to, for clearance fitment. And then uh, it'll go from there. But before I tear any of this out of here, I'm going to tear apart a motor. And before I go do that, I've been considering getting another SRT4. Reason being is I know everything about them. I can fix them on the fly. They have four doors, they're practical, and they're decent on gas. Um, a lot of people talk about reliability issues, but a lot of SRT owners try and modify the hell out of them. And the more you modify a vehicle, the less reliable it becomes, unless you pay a lot of good money and build it the right way. Um, an SRT4 is not that unreliable bone stock. I mean, a couple bolt-ons, you put some coilovers on an exhaust and an intake, and run it. So, I've been considering it. My brother does have this one. It's got a blown motor. But other than that, it's pretty clean. I'm kind of considering it. It's fairly priced. It has a few mods already. So that might be something that happens in the future. If not, I mean, I change my mind more than anybody. So, <laughs> um, But it's something I'm really considering doing because of practicalities. So, here's the motor we're going to tear down. I'm, I'm just kidding, Steve. <laughs> no, um, my roommate let me borrow this block. It uh, still has the crank and pistons and balance shaft on it. I'm going to take that stuff off of there. I'm going to grab my old oil pan and I think my head's laying over here. That's blown up too, but it's just a head. What? Hold on, dude. And you're going to the ball. Well, go get the ball. You were just playing with it. Yeah, I was going to the ball. Kid's a goofball, I tell you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to pull that out of here. Pull the pistons, pull the rods, pull the crank. Some of it's still usable. Check the rod bearings and all that for Steve and make sure. Or just see if there's anything he can use. The block should be good. And uh, we'll set that in there and see, see if I can mock up some motor mounts.
but uh, I'm gonna set that all up. Start working on that. I'll try and I'll set the camera where I can film what I'm doing so that I can actually see work. That's one of my biggest things with this phone deal is not having a like a tripod or anything to hold the phone to film what I'm doing. So I do something, I cut it, and then I do. Hey, Dominic. Huh? You ever stop talking? No. I didn't think so. Ball. Yeah, get your ball. Okay. Uh, Silly kid. Anyway, I don't have a tripod, so I can't set the phone up and film what I'm doing while I'm doing the work. So I apologize for that. Being like, oh, I'm going to do this and then do it without filming it and then having it done. I don't like that. It bothers me. So I'm going to try a little bit harder to um, film what I'm doing as I'm doing it. So I guess I'll pull this out, set up the camera as best I can, and start pulling into it. All right. Thanks, guys. Well, I got some bad news. Um... I'm going to have some height issues from the very bottom of a, the stock oil pan to the top of the PCV valve, which is the tallest point, is 28 inches. And on the truck, from... From this steering arm, part of the rack and... Come on, quit focusing. Stop it. Go on, phone. Good okay. Morning. From this bar, which is my Good steering, morning. to the very bottom of the hood, well, is 26 inches. Whoa. I can get about an inch out of here by cutting just this triangle out, which I'm probably going to have to do anyway. And I could probably... I could probably, I'm going to put a steering rack in it anyway, so I'm going to be modifying this, and that bar is going to be gone. Um, which is fine. I'll figure it out. But, for today's video, I will not be making motor mounts. Um, I believe I could probably do... I could do a custom oil pan, which, I mean, custom stuff gets expensive, and there's already a lot of custom stuff going into this truck. And I believe when I do the balance shaft delete and all that, that all of this is gone. So I can have a relatively thin oil pan, just relocate the oil pickup to behind that bar, which, as long as I have the bolt pattern and whatnot, it's not going to be that big a deal, which... I'm I'm going to look into before I go and modify a bunch of suspension stuff that's going to be more expensive. Um So I think for today I'm going to work on uh, modifying the column, the steering column to hold the SRT ignition. See how close any of that stuff gets. I don't see it being that big a deal. If I need to put a spacer in there to clamp down, so be it, whatever. But, yeah, no motor mounts today, which is okay. I mean, that's a pretty extensive big step that I'm nowhere near having to do yet. I mean, it'd be nice, so when I do have a motor, I just bolt it up and drop it in and run my wires. But that's not going to happen today. Man, I got a little bit of flash burn from welding yesterday. I should probably wear a helmet. Hmm. All right. So I'm going to grab my SRT4 steering column. Whoa. Take a peek at this thing. 
I forgot about that. The old uh, little Mike Wazowski with a turbo badge. That was on my front bumper too. But here's the column. And the SRT4 has got a security system with a skim key reader, which I need this. And the ignition. So if I could get this part onto my column, which I don't think will be that big a deal, then I can either use the plastic shroud for this or cut in the stock one. I'll probably use the plastic shroud for this one. I was going to put this in my dash, but I kind of I want to leave my dash alone, honestly, other than the two gauge or three gauges I'm going to be running in the pillar. I want the inside of the truck to look as stock as I can. I want it to look like a sleeper until I go do all my suspension and do a flare kit and all that. Which I might not even do. I might just... I mean, I'd like it a lot, but I might just do the coilovers front and rear and leave it as stock looking as I can. I find that more entertaining to me, I guess. But, uh... Yeah, I'm going to take this apart, look into seeing how it comes apart. It looks like I need some safety bits, which luckily we have here. I don't think I have to pull the column or the steering wheel to get it off. If I do, that's going to be a pain in the butt. But, uh, alright. I'm going to dig into this real quick. I I'll, I'll, I'll film inside the truck when I start actually getting somewhere. But right now I just want to figure this out. I'm... A little upset about the motor mount thing, but at the same time, I'm custom stuff. It's questions. It's questions that are being answered. That I'm like, oh, well, I've I've been playing this in my head a hundred million times every single night. Like, oh, this will fit and this will work this way. But until you actually get in there, those questions don't get answered. And I answered one today. That I'm either gonna need to modify the steering or get a custom oil pan, which an oil pan is probably a better idea because. Then I can move. Hold on, dude. Okay. Then I can modify where the pickup tube is in the oil pan so that I don't have any oil, 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 oil starvation. Um, because the SRT oil pan is slanted because the motor sits in there at a little bit of an angle, and I don't want any, uh, I don't want any problems with pickup sliding around. So I'm gonna take this apart and we'll go into the truck. Alrighty. Well guys, it's just not my day today. Um, I managed to get the lock and the skim reader off of that ignition, but I pretty much broke everything else. The one thing. Is that your truck? The one thing. Go get your yellow one. Huh? Let me see your other one. Thanks. Um, now this ignition I'm not sure how these come off, so I'm going to probably end up cutting this so that all this comes off of there. But this isn't all one piece like it is on the SRT. Um, what happened with that is it's really brittle pressed aluminum. I'll, I'll show you. Alright, go get your ball, dude. I'll, we'll play in two minutes. Let me just finish this video. So... This is the part that slides onto the steering shaft, and this is a bearing. I didn't know that this casing was part of the column, and I was trying to tap it off of there with a hammer, and it broke. I'm not sure exactly why. The bottom of it broke tapping on the top, but it did. I'm sure the vibrations aren't good for metal, but this part broke, which holds the locking mechanism for the key, on there like this so I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna end up doing here is because of how that one is mounted so I'll probably get another column take it apart nicely and then I'll probably just cut this part off and then there's a metal hoop that goes from there to there just like the Mazda one and I'll just cut all of this front part off. And I'll have my ignition. I, I almost believe I have one someplace. I just don't know 
I don't know what I did with it. I, I, I thought I set it aside like, hey, I could use this, which I'll look for it real quick. It might be over in one of them boxes that I have. But worst case scenario, I just need another column. Hopefully we have one. I'm sure there's something here. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely just going to take a grinder and cut it apart and trim it down to what I need instead of ruining it again. I'm a little irritated, but it is what it is. I mean, you don't always get lucky. I probably spoke too soon yesterday saying it's something that's meant to be. So I'm going to dig in these boxes real quick and see what part I actually have. And we'll, uh, I don't know what else to do. I mean, maybe I, I can clean up the bay a little bit and do some stuff with that. Trimming and cutting that stuff out of there, but just one of them days. Not everything goes as planned. Oh well, I'm gonna look through these boxes. Well, I found it. I trimmed it up, so I just need the locker and ignition tumbler. Or I had the tumbler, the ignition switch on the opposite side, which is fine. Like, we have enough cars here, I'm sure I can find one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm a little excited that I found this and it's not broke and all the little tabs are still there and I, I trimmed off that face plate and this just guarantees me using the multifunction switch out of the truck and the ignition out of the SRT. At least one good thing happened today. So I have this, I have the tumbler, I have the key, I have the PCM, I have the skim reader, everything out of my SRT. So, what I'm going to work on right now is getting getting these off of there. And, I mean, I don't know exactly how they come off, but I'll do some investigating and see what I can find. I'm not going anywhere. Why don't go? Um, because there's no motor, son. I'm not dumb. Okay. <laughs> We're not going by. This truck doesn't run. Yeah. It doesn't do any of that. What? We're not going from. I'm getting out of here and I'm going to go find some tools to take this off of here. Why? Well, because. Okay. Alright, look out. Get out of my way. Okay. Thank you. Tell you what, dude. This kid is something else. I'm blessed with him. I tell you. But, I'm going to cut these wires and... Maybe I'll just bash the fucker off with a hammer. Because it's aluminum and I'm not using it again. Didn't matter anyway. It's not a keyed ignition. Like, I can stick anything in there and start it. A fucking screwdriver, a knife, a penny... Anything that grabs the outside, it's 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 known on Mazdas, the keys go bad, and there's nothing to keep the tumbler from locking. So, for a safety aspect, I'm glad I'm putting a different ignition in here anyway. Or security, not safety. But, alrighty, I'm going to work on getting this off of here and cutting that off, and we'll see what happens here. Well, I got the old one off with my combination drill bit grinder, hammer, screwdriver, brute muscle stuff. So that's off of there. I'll uh, mock up the other one. Dominic, get out of the puddle. What are you doing? No. Hey, what is that? Zipper. Yeah? Oh, now what? The ball. <laughs> I'll grab that for him in a second, but uh, yeah, I'm going to bolt this back on there and mock up that one and see what happens. I'll get it. Well, <clears throat> I got this on here. That don't move. I got the skim reader mocked up. I got it marked. I need to go get a locking tumbler and the ignition switch that bolts here. And I am going to have to do some plastic trimming. I mean, this, 
hold up. This whole top part sits on here nice. Um, and that covers some stuff. I'm, it might not look the prettiest, but at least this part, top part will be covered. I'm going to have to, I'll have this whole bottom section. This I'm going to have to drill out to sit over it. And then I don't know if this will tuck back far enough. I don't, from where it's lining up like that, it don't look like it. But if I got to, if I got to notch this out and that hang out the side, I really don't care. Like. I'll paint it to match the same color as the interior, just so it's not as noticeable. That ignition on this side is fairly big, but it should go in there. And then, um, I have the tumbler and everything else. Uh, there's a pretty big gap. I just jammed a washer in there for now. I'm what I'm gonna oops. What I'm gonna do with this is probably just weld this top part to the column because it doesn't move. I'll just keep all of this in there and then put a nice well not nice, it's gonna be ugly as shit because this welder sucks, but I'll get a bead in here and get this tacked down to the column so that that don't move, and then if I ever have to take the this off I can still take it off of the column and everything line up and then I'm gonna have all my wiring stuff for this right here I'm gonna have to tap into this from the SRT harness and wire all of these switches which are all simple stuff the blinkers and stuff like that the uh, the lights they're just on off switches there they're, there's nothing complicated really except like finding out what fuses are needed and stuff and then the ignition all of this will just be the stock SRT plug from the harness simple um, and then I need to this is a cluster I'm gonna end up I don't know if I'm gonna de pin them or just solder onto leads Deep pinning will probably give me better ohms, but the other way is going to be simpler. But I got a wiring diagram to read through to figure out what each wire does to each spot. Some of them are going to be gone, like just off of uh, just off the top of my just off the top of my head, um, like the seatbelt safety switch and. Um, this truck doesn't have airbags or four-wheel drive or ABS, so none of those lights are going to do anything. Maybe I will make it work. Maybe, well, yeah. Just because, like, uh, the more complete a swap is, the cooler it is. So, if I have everything in here working as it should, the check engine light, the brake light, the oil light, and the, all the gauges and everything else, the, the cooler this thing's going to be, and the more functional and safe and reliable it'll be i mean i'm driving it so reliability is probably out the window but uh <laughs> um and i'm glad i have this wheel there's another mazda steering wheel that's just a straight bar with two horns i'm i like this one better it's a little a little bit racier and this this cover is on here for like really no reason other than whatever reason i mean the steering wheel underneath is it's it's aged, but it's not like really beat up. Like there's no chunks missing or nothing. It's just cracked and it's slippery. But I mean, I could eventually get a some kind of fancy steering wheel. But like I said, I want this as stock as I can on the interior. I mean, obviously I have SRT four seats, but that's just because they're way more comfortable. But yeah we'll uh we'll uh see ya see what else I do here I'm kind of beat everything not working out and stuff and just kind of having to fumble around and figure out what else I could do kind of put a damper on things I need to figure out and call around for an oil pan I could still tear that black dub but Excuse me.
I didn't even get that far because I was like, hey, well, I'm just going to measure this real quick. Honestly, what I think I'm going to do is... I'm going to call and see what kind of oil pans I can find. Maybe a Jeep oil pan will fit or something like that. Um, I could notch the hood like I'm probably going to have to irregardless of how I do this. Which isn't that big a deal. It's a, I have three of them already. Um, I'm just going to I'm going to do some I'm sorry thinking. I'm going to do some research. And see what I can do with oil pans. Probably going to end up having a custom one made. Which, if that's the case, then I cannot do any motor mounts until I have measurements and an oil pan. Because then I can figure out what height it's going to be at in there. Which isn't that big a deal. I mean, I can do a lot of stuff on this truck without the motor in, without the trans. I mean, I still got to wire everything in and do the dash stuff, and... Well, I am tired today. We're in nap time. Yep. Dominic! You want to take naps? No. No, you don't want to. I'm going to. We'll figure it out. What you doing? Crazy child. Anyway... Maybe I'll maybe I'll maybe I'll do my steering stuff and just buy the room and then not have to have an oil pan made. Cause that other cross brace, I don't want that in my face, dude. You got that? What are you doing? All right. This brace here. This is the main brace, right here. And that is a solid two inches lower than this one. Which this bar is the only one in my way. This metal can come out. Get rid of that. This steering bar is the only thing in my way to completely fit it. So maybe I'll do, maybe I'll just look into um, the steering rack. Instead of doing rack and pinion, I'd really like a steering rack. And I feel like I've seen them use Miatas. But, I think the way it bolts and how much sturdier it is, I might look into a Dodge Dakota one. Because it's really symmetrical. And how it bolts, I can s turn it. And then, uh, then I'll just take this. The steering column shaft, this whole box will be gone. And it'll just kind of turn and go into the steering rack. That might be something I'll look into. Cause that might that might be cheaper than an oil pan, and I'm I want to do that anyway down the line. So I think that's it for today. I'm I'm just gonna clean up, go inside, hang out with my kid, and come up with a plan for doing something else. These motor mounts were absolutely shot. The rubbers broke clean off of both of them. So. And I don't know what style motor mount I want to use. But maybe I'll hard mount it to the body and not have any bushings at all. Maybe I'll use the old uh, biscuit style that some of the 350 swaps use. Maybe I'll just buy stock Mazda ones. Um, I don't know yet. A lot of those unanswered questions, I guess. But for now, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.